I just wanted to give you a heads up. I am going to New York City for the Ink Cosmetics exhibition. I will be there October 23rd through 24th at the Javits Center. I will be live streaming my conversations with some really fascinating experts and I'm going to publish a schedule in advance in hopes that you'll join me. Please join me. Let me share some of the really cool topics we'll be discussing. Now you may not know it, but you evaluate skincare products with your senses every day. Sometimes you might not be able to put your finger on exactly what that feeling is, but if something doesn't feel right to you, it's a major turnoff, and you'll probably never buy that skincare product again. I often hear this argument with people who won't wear sunscreen because it feels gross on the skin. But what are we feeling that separates a product we're not hot on versus one we love? Mark Chandler of ACT Solutions can help explain. He's been formulating skincare products for over 30 years. He's gonna help us upgrade our sensory vocab beyond the basic that feels great or that feels gross and show us some cool techniques for evaluating the quality of our skincare products. Oh my gosh, and then there is cannabis. It's showing up in everything. Candy bars, beverages, dog treats, and skincare. I don't know if you've been to Sephora lately, but there is so much cannabis skincare right now. But can cannabis make my skin awesome? Is it safe? Heck, is it even legal? Those are some of the questions we're going to address with Canadian-based cannabis producer, Hexo. We're going to meet with a representative who can hopefully give us the up and up. I am also feverishly researching this topic because I want to know more. If you've ever wondered how stress and emotions can affect your skin and vice versa, the next expert is for you. Her name is Dr. Claudia Aguirre. She's a neuroscientist and mind-body expert. She's going to explain how a problem that originates in our brain, like stress in the form of worry, trauma, and anxiety, can influence your overall skin health. Even better, she'll address actions we can take to manage these stressors and put our skin in a better state. Doesn't it feel great to unwrap a beauty product? You peel off the plastic and open the box. It's just the process that makes us feel really good about our purchase. Unboxing a beauty product may be great for us emotionally, but it's not so great for the environment. All of that packaging ends up in the trash. And this is just one of the many issues that goes into whether our cosmetics are actually sustainable. Jay Bolas is an expert in sustainable product development. He's going to share some of the actionable work he's done with big beauty brands to make their products more environmentally sound. And he'll also give us some tips on how to recognize legit sustainable products. And that's just some of the people I'm going to chat with. I'll be sending out the schedule next week so you can be present and have your questions ready. You're also going to join me for the formulation challenge. Help me vote on elevator pitches for trending ingredients and join me for some chill social events where we meet other industry folk. If you're planning on going and you want to connect, you can look me up at Miss Beautifile. We'll talk shop and maybe you'll even join me for a video. Again, the dates are October 23rd and 24th and I can't wait to see you.